Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Finally, EA Sports is giving us some of the Centurions cards that we have wanted since we first learned about what this promo was going to be about. We have some major players coming today in Centurions team too, but is it just going to be like last week where we have a Neymar, a Trent Alexander-Arnold, and a Kempembe for a Centurions promo team that was very hyped for just a couple of cards and the rest of the team was just pretty average? Could we be excited today, but also face the realism of, is this promo not going to be as hyped just like last week was? We're going to talk about that. And of course, today's a very interesting day for the market because we have seen a pretty stagnant market all week since we saw the first bit of the team of the year market crash last weekend. But this weekend could be another pivotal weekend for prices on the FIFA market because people might finish their weekend leagues and start to sell because we are just now one week away from team of the year so we have to talk about that today and of course some early contents headed our way with the premier league player of the month we have to talk about that and everything else going on today if you're excited for centurions team 2 hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new let's take a look at these leaks now we've seen the loading screen right and earlier today there was some confusion about who that ac milan striker on the left of the loading screen is or was and it is now leaked it is latan Ibrahimovic. At first, Foot Sheriff and the other leakers were not entirely sure. He is added to come with new traits such as the bicycle kick trait, deserved in my opinion. I think most of us would agree. That's the card that we wanted for this promo. Zlatan is like the number one card a lot of people have said, wanted to see in this promo, and he is actually coming. Now, is this going to be as good as the Zlatan card last year, right? He only had one promo card last year. That was absolutely insane inside of Winter Wild Cards. Hopefully it's this good, but of course the predictions that we have here for stats are not quite as good. We'll see how much EA juice up his card today, but he will undoubtedly be one of the most exciting players in the promo team today. Price for him, if I had to guess, if he had stats like this, I still think he would be around 1.5 million coins. If he has stats like this, probably upwards of 2 million coins, right? We're just going to have to see how good the stats are for this Laton card, but very, very exciting. This is a card for me that I'm going to have to try to get and try out. And if I can possibly do it, pack it because this is a card that means a lot to me. One of the footballers that kind of I watched first when I got into the sport it just means so much to me. So I'm excited for that card today, but there's more cards to get excited about. Ace teammate, Salem Makers, uh, Belgium right wing, another AC Milan card is a leak right now. He is a right wing card. So 92 pace, 91 dribbling. That could be a pretty nice card as well. A couple nice Serie A links there. That's going to be a part of the promo team this weekend. And we have a couple more. Fred. Hullet Gangs, that's our prediction, uh, but that's a pretty good looking card, right? 88 pace Fred with 88 dribble. He's already had the out of position card from earlier this year that a lot of people enjoyed on a cheaper budget. This one's probably not going to be that cheap. I would expect a couple hundred thousand coins, especially depending upon the stats and how good they are. But Fred's a pretty decent card in game. He always has some hype. Remember Fred's road to the knockouts or road to the final card last year. That was a card that a lot of people have used. But again, as we take a look at this promo team, we take a look at the leaks, it kind of feels like this team one of Centurions, right? We've got Ben Yedder, Kimpembe, Neymar, Trent Alexander-Arnold, four like top tier, kind of hit you in the face, really big names. And then after that, is it going to quiet down? We're going to have to wait to see more leaks today to find out. But a couple other of those players that are very exciting, Marco Royce. This was the other player that so many people wanted to see. Now, hopefully his stats look a little bit better than this. 82 pace. Not quite enough, but I believe he is the right player on the loading screen with 88 shooting and 88 passing. That's a decent boost there for Marco Royce. Hopefully, he gets some other big boosts in other areas. Maybe skill move, maybe weak foot boost would be kind of nice to make that card a little extra special for Marco Royce. I know a lot of people are excited about that card today. I am as well. So that's a big name. And then our headliner, probably the highest rated card in this promo, 93 rated. Mohamed Salah, and this one's a little interesting to me because Salah has already had multiple promo cards this year. He's got two informs and the out of position card, which was position change, of course, to striker. So I'm very interested to see what makes this Salah different. I don't know if they're going to upgrade a weak foot, maybe skill moves. There's potential of that, of course, that we would hope to make this card just a little bit extra special today. But those are all of the leaks that we have right now for Centurions that will be in packs either today or this week. And of course, there is the slight possibility that Fred or Royce, maybe even Salamakers, I doubt Zlatan, um, but not Royce at all. Actually, Royce is on the loading screen. So he won't be in the mini release. He will be in packs today, but maybe Fred, maybe Salamakers, 
Some of these guys could be in the mini release, but watch out for more leaks today to find out how the rest of the team is going to look. Again, if the rest of the team kind of looks like team one did, then it might not be that super duper hype of a day, but maybe EA is taken today with the Centurions team two as an opportunity to try to get people to open up some of their saved packs before team of the year. If they're dropping some bigger name players and if they're dropping some excitement today, which again, you can compare it to team one of Centurions and say, Nate, I mean, Neymar, Ben Yedder, Kempembe, I think they were taking more opportunities to open, get people to open their safe packs last week with those kind of big FIFA meta names, right? I think that's a very good point. And that's why I'm very excited for today with the players that are dropping, but also want to be realistic as well, because it might not be that hype of a day if the rest of the team doesn't look that good. So those are the players that we have leaked right now. I do want to talk about some more leaks for SBCs, objective content and store pack content, because also last week in the store, remember guys, we had a lot of prices that moved on this Centurions team number one in like the second and third hour of the lightning rounds because EA dropped a tradable pack in the store. I would imagine that they're going to do that again this weekend. And there are new packs added to the code An elite pack plus that is the only pack I believe besides the Centurions one that is listed in here as tradable. This could be a tradable pack in the store. It's kind of crazy. Contains 26 rare gold players, one of them 86 plus. But inside that pack, you also get a 50k pack. So you're getting actually like uh, whatever 26 plus 12 is math, Nate, 38. You're getting 38 rare gold players inside of this pack because it's like two packs kind of uh, split into one, right? So you open one pack and you get two. That's a pretty solid pack. That could bring a lot of supply to the market. That could impact fodder prices. Maybe dropping today with supply could absolutely impact the new Centurions and everything that is in packs on this game, right? We're going to be looking for that pack today. There's another 100 player pack added to the code as well. It is untradeable. And since it has a rating guarantee of an 87 plus, this to me feels like it'll be dropped this weekend in the store. I know we had the 100 pack last week in an SBC. I'd be surprised for this one. A consumables pack, which also has 100 items, 50 chemistry styles and 50 position modifiers. That's pretty crazy. I'm very interested to know what the value of this, what EA placed the value of this pack as and then a Prime Icon Nesta loan pack, that to me feels like it's going to be inside of the um, the Moment Store like the Ledley King was last week. And then we also have an 82 plus player pack, which is very interesting. Maybe that will be an SBC that they dropped today. Usually on Fridays, we don't get SBCs like that, but we will have to see. Now, speaking of SBCs, watch out for the only other leaked SBC that we have as of me recording this video right now, unless there is another SBC that is leaked to be today, which there is one other one. It's a showdown. I don't think it's today though, but we'll talk about it. This Declan Rice, I mean, we're getting, EA's going all crazy with the order, right? They leak Kent and Tavernier. They dropped those guys yesterday. We haven't seen Declan Rice yet. Maybe he is going to be our SBC player today. If this feels like the most highest potential for me, I've been saying this guy should have dropped the past two days, but it's EA, who knows, right? It's either this SBC today or EA maybe will release a showdown SBC very early this is a showdown sbc for a game that is happening this next wednesday so it is many days away for a showdown sbc to be released today i feel like it'd be a bit early but more syria hype with origi and mkhitaryan a, a lot of you guys remember mkhitaryan like he would be a card that would be great inside of the centurions promo origi as well so i like what ea is doing with this showdown if the stats are solid i think this is this could be a pretty good showdown right stats or predictions this is for the Super Copa final, I believe, uh, Italy's Cup uh, in the final game, which is played on Wednesday, as I said. So this probably is dropping anytime between Saturday and Monday. I just feel like today on Friday might be a bit early, but if EA is trying to push the Serie A hype train, maybe these guys will drop today as well. So if that is any interest to you, uh, keep an eye out for that. That could be coming very soon. Those are the only SBCs that we have leaked right now, and we do not have any objectives that are leaked for today's content just yet. I'm assuming that, like we said, there'll be more leaks that will be coming out uh, today with more information on that. Now, there is, and I haven't even seen uh, some any more tweets about this, but there was a tweet early yesterday about the potential of an SBC that would drop very early today, probably hours before content, as they normally do. We're going back to look at one more leak, and that is the player of the month from the Premier League, Martin Odegaard. I don't know if this is his exact card, but FIFA Romania, one of the leakers on Twitter that we look at a lot, leaked this card yesterday. 
um, and we expect it to drop today, right? Play of the months for the Premier League are almost always on the second Friday of the month, and that kind of coincides with today, right? So this 89 Odegaard, whether it's 89 or 90, might get an SBC today, actually probably will, and it will be early. Hopefully it's cheap. His Both of his 88 rated cards are coming in, I think, right around like 50K. The 88 uh, Road to the Knockouts is 42,000 coins, and the 88 Inform is about 38,000 coins as well. So hopefully this card is not super expensive and craftable, of course, for Arsenal fans out there, and a nice link to Holland as well um, if you're running a Premier League squad. So watch the Holland cards today with the Norway links, maybe a little bit of extra hype there. That's a good looking prim Premier League center attacking mid or center mid, depending on the stat boost that he gets. Hopefully a 90, like a 90 better than an 89 for that extra stat boost on his card. So that's kind of all the content that we know could be coming today at this time. Now, let's talk about the market, right? Because there's been a lot going on with the market um, and in a sense that a lot of expectation has been placed on this market for prices to be dropping. But since the content hasn't been that wild, prices really haven't dropped that much yet, right? Like we said and talked about earlier in the week, we saw a nice solid price drop in the first part of the team of the year market crash on Sunday and Monday. But since then, it's been kind of quiet and most prices have been stagnant all week long. Today might be the last day. In my opinion, it will be one of the last days where you see the market perform halfway decent. And what I mean by that is, I think you will see cards today from past promos, maybe have a little bit of panic selling heading into the promo today, just because people might sell a card that they have in their club or their team because they wanna try something new and different, right? Benzema still is right around 1.3 million coins. Maybe somebody today is like, oh, I'm going to go try this Laton card. I'm going to sell Benzema to go and do that. I think there could be a little bit of panic selling today. Absolutely. But I also think that today is still a day where a lot of people are going to go out and play for champions. And there is a lot of demand for team buying and building. So I feel like the market after content today, unless we have some sort of surprise. And when I mean surprise, I'm talking like some sort of big SBC that's not a player SBC. Like if the 83 times 10 somehow comes back or something along those lines that would create some panic. If there is any panic today, this would probably go out the window. This theory would, but I feel like the market may get low around content. And then maybe an hour after that, start to rebound up for the next couple hours on the out of packs cards, right? It might be kind of a last opportunity if you still have cards in your team to get your weekend league games done and then start to get out of those cards. Because I really do think the longer that you wait to sell a card from your team, um, I mean, apart from a couple cards like Ateo Hernandez, right? Who's just rising in price right now because of all the AC Milan links that have been leaked and that will be in the game soon. This is a card that a lot of people want to have on their team to use to link up with Ibra or to the Solid Makers card or maybe to the Origi that would be coming out as an SBC in a showdown soon. So besides maybe some of the super hype cards that rise up because of the new content that comes out and it linking to that new content, a lot of the rest of the market, maybe like a... Bellingham, maybe a Adair Militao, maybe a Hakimi card. I think you will start to see some price drop offs later on this weekend. This might be our last kind of rise day or last day that the market feels pretty healthy because it's felt pretty healthy all week. I really do think, guys, that once we get to Saturday, Sunday, Monday, you're going to start to see prices tank pretty substantially as people sell cards before team of the year starts next week. And I think the market crash from a crashing standpoint and how fast prices would drop if the content today is seen as lackluster and as an L content day, I think that would accelerate the panic selling, honestly, as we head towards the end of the weekend, because more and more people will start to think about the market and prices instead of thinking about what content we have in the game. That's one thing to keep in mind today. As we see what the content is, uh, maybe there could be prices dropping faster than we expect if it is an L day, if you will. So I still think today though, it's gonna to be a really good opportunity to make coins. Watch for your icons. I traded with some primes yesterday, Vandersar, Van Persie, and Beckham. A lot of flips on these cards. The market has been doing very well. Um, and we have made a decent amount of coins, just more coins that I'll be putting into upgrade packs, of course. Um, but at the same time, we know what is coming with team of the year. So we're really, especially this weekend, as we get closer and closer to that coming, are gonna be careful with how we approach the market. So that's one of my biggest things to watch out for today is maybe the last day of a market rise. Now with the supply that we talked about, we know we're getting lightning rounds today. We know we are going to be getting some of those store packs. There are going to be a lot of a lot of packs open today, especially in the tradable variety because of lightning rounds. We have to talk about 
SBC fodder because, of course, last week we had some crazy spikes, specifically on Wednesday with the 83 times 10 and 85s going to the moon. Now, right now, they are becoming on a kind of unextinct, if you will. Now, these cards that were at max price 14K are starting to get listed back up on the market, and they are probably just going to slowly drop today and drop further down back to their normal price range of around, I would say, 85s will probably be back to around 8,000 coins later today unless we get some sort of good content and the rest of the fodder market will probably follow suit because again tradable supply and the sbcs that are kind of holding some of these cards up in value are going to be going away today sbcs that are going away today the 88 plus mid or fifa world cup icon remember last week we had an icon player pick that was still available and it refreshed last week at 6 p.m uk at content drop time that caused some extra panic on the market and it also caused fodder to go up we don't have that today both the 88 plus World Cup icon and the 83 times 10 upgrade expire today. So all the fodder demand that is going to be there for today in SBCs is going to be maybe an Odegaard, maybe people that are still crafting the 100 players upgrade if you haven't done that yet. Tavernier, maybe a couple of the one-off other SBC players like a Declan Rice that's maybe dropped today and then icon SBCs. So if there are drop-offs on your high tier fodder, let's say like the 91s or the 90s, yeah, maybe you could trade with a few of those cards today with supply and having their prices drop. But what I really think is going to happen is this is going to open up between today and tomorrow on Saturday. A really, really good opportunity to get back in on the fodder side of the market because obviously we are still one week away from team of the year. That is plenty of time for EA Sports to drop some packs into the store or into the squad building challenge section to try to drain our clubs of coins and fodder before we hit team of the year and open a ton of packs this next week i i would expect to see multiple different sbcs like another 83 times 10 maybe like an 85 times 3 that sort of stuff packs that we want to save for team of the year or or open right now during centurions team 2 later on this week and of course icon packs or player picks hero packs hero player picks multiple type of those sbcs the gamble packs i think will be coming this next week fodder will be a big watch for me today and tonight it was very profitable last week. I think it'll be profitable this upcoming week as well. So that's the one thing to definitely watch out for today on this game. So I think it's going to be a cool day of content today. But guys, I know I'm excited for the Zlatan, the Royce, and the cards that are going to be out in this promo. But I really do think that some, if those cards don't look that amazing, and if the rest of the content today is not that exciting, some might view today as a bit of an L content day. And we're just going to kind of have to roll with that and uh, start thinking about and, of course, looking forward to the Team of the Year promo that is fast approaching. One week from now, we will be talking about Team of the Year cards coming into packs. So if you're saving packs, don't fall victim to EA today. Don't open your packs if you're not ready to open them. And, of course, keep stacking those, right? The 81 plus double upgrade, the 80 plus upgrade that is still out if you're crafting those. These, of course, go away today. I would assume that we get other upgrades in packs later on this week with Centurions team number two, but hold strong, hold those packs. And of course, if your goal is team of the year, don't pre epaculate as they say. So if you guys enjoyed this video today, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. We'll be live on Twitch following this Centurions 2 promo today. I've got my Swedish badge ready to go, Swedish kits equipped. I'm ready to try to pack slot down today, guys. I'm gonna build some 81 pluses and I'll see you on the stream today. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.